Whether crypto advanced or unspeakably new, Bitcoin.com has a wallet for you. It's the world's top incarcerator. So there's always been some expectation the U.S. would fight cryptocurrency by prosecuting its end users on a case-by-case basis. That expectation is coming true again, this time in Michigan. The apparent latest target of the Fed crackdown is Bradley Anthony Stetq, pronunciation not verified. An October 25th federal complaint accuses the Michigan man of selling and brokering, quote, deals for hundreds of thousands of dollars in Bitcoin while failing to comply with money transmitting business registration requirements set forth in Title 31 United States Code, unquote. SetQ reportedly used LocalBitcoins.com, a sort of crypto Craigslist. It helps users meet in person to buy and sell the digital assets. Rather than shutting down LBC or frequently prosecuting its operators, Washington has been aiming at heavy users of the platform. And it seems that local bitcoins has become uh, the target. Bob Podolsky of Acapulco is a friend of one such arrestee. He accurately predicted the escalating legal attacks. That people who are get you know who do the most business and have the best reputation on local bitcoins are being targeted in Florida, in Arizona, in Michigan, in Louisiana, and I'm betting pretty much soon everywhere. Podolsky says the worst is yet to come if Bitcoiners don't take constructive action against federal arrests. Meanwhile, in Russia, authorities have named remote Vladivostok as the planned location for two cryptocurrency agencies. One will be an office for crypto detectives, The second is described as a crypto advisory agency open to all. The latter is scheduled to start holding crypto education seminars on November 15th. A port city, Vladivostok is located a few dozen miles northeast of the North Korean border. Bitcoin itself has established an all new high, is that even news anymore? BitcoinWisdom.com has the OG crypto at $6,345, about $30 higher than the listed bitstamp price. (laughs) And lastly, two-time U.S. presidential candidate Ron Paul has weighed in on Bitcoin. He tells Kitco News, quote, I take some very strong positions on competing currencies. I want to legalize all competing currencies. And if you can come up with a competing currency and there's no fraud, I think it should be, unquote. He goes on to say, quote, I don't understand the technology of cryptocurrencies. I just want to make sure there is no fraud involved. But I am also concerned about the government involvement, unquote. In the interview, Paul appears to urge caution on the part of U.S. crypto users. Check news.bitcoin.com for more detailed reports on these stories. Why does the world look like this? Well, it's because you're using these instead of these. Admittedly, so am I sometimes. But if you're not using Bitcoin yet, you're missing the boom of the century. So go to Bitcoin.com, get their free wallet, find out what it's like to be in a free market. Whether crypto advanced or unspeakably new, Bitcoin.com has a wallet for you.